Hello, hello. We are back with Fiasco. Um, this is definitely a fiasco so far. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Um, so now we got to come up with why we have all these relationships and needs and objects and locations and all this stuff and what our names are. Um, I didn't think of my name either. So I just searched Miami names. <laughs> Miami names. Um, uh, so Jordan, who are you? So I'm assuming you're the informant. Uh, yeah. And I'm the undercover cop, like, working with the mob right now? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, here's sense. a good one. Here's a good one. Liam. <laughs> yeah, Liam Ooh, is or Mason. One. Mason. <laughs> Just saying generic male names. Well, hey, no, Liam, as in Liam Neeson. Oh, Okay. Can't think of any names that don't that sound like I don't know. I'll go with Liam just because I can say like Liam Neeson. Caleb is as Raven too. No, <laughs> I just copied it because I, I like the I like the way that looks. Oh gotcha. Um I know my name. <laughs> Are you also gonna be Raven? No. Oh that would be funny. That's so Raven. <laughs> <laughs> it is the future I can see. So I'm a female. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> I'm tweeting that out right now. <laughs> so obviously my name is gonna be Angel. Okay. Dang it, now I feel like I should pick a better name. If you oh, need any tips on being a female, I'm our uh Oh don't worry. Local... <laughs> don't worry, I've, local I've played... expert on it. Yeah. <laughs> the local expert on being a female. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm definitely Angel. I'm definitely going to play up this like you're the bad side of the equation and I'm the good side of the equation. And <laughs> who's that fix is whether or not he goes for the darkness or the light. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Okay, now I definitely gotta pick a better name. You guys have got like if I'm hanging out with you guys, I have like <laughs> metaphoric metaphoric. Angel Raven. My mob boss name is Tony Cat. Nice. Dang it, I was gonna... <laughs> and I'm totally sending this to him as soon as we're done. Oh, you know someone with that name? Yeah, he's he's he was the uh, he's legitimately a uh, he's a mob boss. Is that what you? Yes. Nice. No. Um, he's um high my high school um, youth leader. Okay, I know what I'll go with, and I'll type it in the chat because it'll be weirdly typed. I just found I, I googled mob names so it'll be ignazio caltrez <laughs> ignazio <laughs> so oh, that's so funny we got two italians two spiritual beings, <laughs> <laughs> two spiritual beings. excuse me i'm a bird and also a really great character on teen titan so <laughs> true, true. Spiritual. Oh, yeah. Yeah, i should have just been starfire duh <laughs> no, okay. I mean, Seth is Robin. And that's that makes that makes Jordan uh uh cyborg. Perfect. Or Beast Boy. <laughs> or and or Beast Boy. I'm thinking more cyborg. Could it be Slave? Hmm. Oh yeah, you could be. No, that actually makes a lot of sense. You're definitely Slade. <laughs> I have not seen this show, so really? I like have what? Big context of what you're talking Seth. about. Get culture, so, man. Get culture. I grew up with Black Black TV. Uh, Teen Titans. Sorry, what were you what were you listing off? Oh, we need to watch The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah. We need to watch Teen Titans. Yep. So once we finish our Last Airbender slash Legend of Korra rewatch podcast, then we need to start a Teen Titans rewatch podcast. Perfect. I'm liking where this is going. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah. So you guys should write your names down. Oh, you we we have the we're gonna do it. Yeah, oh, I can do it. Here, I can do it if you want. Oh, cause cause I, cause I just I can't take out the question marks, so I thought it was. Oh really? You can't control the. Oh, I no. didn't do the question marks. I don't think. No, I don't know. I did if I that. Can. I did that. Yeah, okay. I just added the big word. Here, I'll just write it for you. So so what's your name, Seth? I sent it in the chat. Um, Ignacio Caltrez. Yeah, in Zoom. Okay. Ignacio. 
Let's see a little cultures. Good stuff. Tony Calvo. Oh. <laughs> Tony Calvo. He has a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what is happening? Ignacio apparently has a twin. Yeah. Is my mic quiet again? No. No. Okay. I gotta make this smaller. <laughs> it took me a while to realize that was hey hey. <laughs> I'm like, what the? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> cool. Um, so, is there any more like defining of relationships that needs to be done? No. I think we're good on that regards. Um, right. So, we know that I'm the undercover cop. I have a. So, so I'm, I'm assuming that I am the secret admirer <laughs> to you. Um, Seth. Right? Is that the case? Huh? I'm assuming that I'm I'm the secret your secret admirer. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Given um, so so do you just randomly work at a retail store? I would say maybe that like maybe that's like my front oh. for Well no no no. So so okay. I, I'm gonna posit this as an idea. So what if okay. all of like the bad like mob crap happens in like in in front of this like, gas station like the all the drug deals go on at this gas station like in the like dark 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 like side of the gas station and you are well, literally we... just the convenience store worker but you know all about this stuff that goes on because it this is the place where it all goes down <laughs> and so like all of our relationships have developed right between this um situation where you're just this convenience store worker and you've just been witness to a lot of these mob like fights and stuff and have developed relationships with all of us <laughs> well i was thinking like i'm kind of allowing it in a sense oh yeah no no of course you're you're the one who like you get paid to let the stuff go down here gotcha okay yeah i was like i'm just watching from the sides no no that's fantastic <laughs> uh oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's in the. Yeah, I know. Wait. I've seen it. Yeah, it's the. Oh. <laughs> Looks so sad in the sun. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool. Is there any other stuff we need to uh, talk no, about? Or are we pretty much? Pretty much um. Ready? Which uh. Ignacio, which one of us wants more? Um. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, have you been like pining after this like hotshot gangster that is coming around, or like is she pining after you? Well, the de definition is friends with benefits, and then they're just wanting someone, someone wants, wants more. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I feel like as a gangster, I don't necessarily think that I would necessarily want more. Yeah, it's probably me in this case. Yeah. Casual. I like that. I like that. Just like real life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. How many gangsters do you know? <laughs> no, never mind. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it was a dumb joke. Okay, cool. So um now we kind of have our, our situation kind of set up. I will <laughs> quickly explain what how the rest of the game works so basically uh so we're, we put all the dice back to the central pile we have names for everybody awesome um and now we are going to take turns doing scenes so let me find the thing to write this down or to read this off um so what uh we'll go in like you know clockwise order the same so we did it when it's your turn your character is in the spotlight um, and you can choose to either establish or resolve the scene. If you are establishing, you create the scene. You basically just describe what the scene is, who's there, what's happening. Um, you can also um, like cast anyone as their characters or as other characters in whatever scene you set up. Um, but you are in control of like establishing the scene. If you choose to resolve the scene, you ask everybody else to create the scene for you. So um, say I'm first and I'd like, 
all right, I'm going to, I'm going to resolve. So you guys set up the scene for me. So all three of you would just come up with what the situation is and what's going on. Um, then we begin the scene at some point during the scene, you determine the outcome. Um, if you established, if you were the one who made the scene, then the other people uh, will give you, will decide the, how the scene ends to signal either a positive or negative outcome. Um, so basically you're choosing either you get to set up the scene or finish the scene and like decide how it goes. Um, and when you do so, you, e you get either a black dice or a white dice, um, based on, um, the outcome. Um, so black is for bad, white is for good. Um, and so basically, right, if you choose to set up the scene, then you, you might not be able to stop the bad thing that happens at the end, right? So, um, obviously we're, we're just kind of like collaborative, collaboratively making up the scene as we go, um, but the final, like, decision as to how the scene kind of ends um and like whether or not it's good or bad for the spotlight character is up to either you as a spotlight character if you chose to resolve or everybody else if you chose to establish um does that make sense everybody on? i feel like it'll make more sense after a round or two yeah no I, I feel i feel so as well it usually does um but then uh basically in in act one um you uh you the, you get the die but then you give that die to another player um and so uh just to kind of spell out what the dice mean um at the end of the game you will roll all of the dice in front of you and your final outcome for how well your character is off at the end of the game is decided by the amount of one color that you have so say i had um it's always, it's always better to have one of uh, to have a bunch of one color than to have mixed colors because they will negate each other. Um, so the best results you can get is a high number of uh, white or a high number of black. But if you get close to zero, zero is the absolute worst you can possibly get and you will fail and your character probably dies at the end or has something worse than death happen to them. Oh my. Um, <laughs> worse than death. Um, but uh, so basically during act one, when you get a dice, um, your decision to give that to another player is kind of like a mini um like power struggle right like uh, because you can either choose to give someone more of one color to help them get a better outcome or you can give them mixed colors to signify that you don't like their character and you want them to have a worse outcome <clears throat> so that's kind of like how the politics of the game go um and then once it gets to act two once we we do um uh eight of the scenes we do eight scenes so twice around um, then we go to act two and act two is you, the dice you get is the, you keep it. Um, so, um, I mean, I'll just go ahead and start, um, because, uh, that's, that's how we started the, with the dice anyway. Um, that's probably a good way to do it. Um, so I think the first scene I'm going to, I'm going to establish, um, we see. Do we need to have the PDF open anymore? Sorry. Real quick. Uh, not for the, the neon city, city light nights. Okay. Nope. You don't want to do that. Um, we open up um, with uh, you know some some uh, some like eighties. What, what what was like the music? Uh, like was it? It's not techno, is it? What's the Guns and Roses? Appetite for Destruction came out in nineteen eighty six. Okay, so we we get a what, what's a what's a popular Guns and Roses sound? Welcome to the jungle. Okay, so we hear "Welcome to the Jungle" we start playing That's good. Um, at the beginning, right? Um, and we get right the the montage of M Miami in the, in 1986, um, and uh, we see you know uh, police officers roaming the streets. We see um, gang members getting into fights. We see um, parties and and uh, nightclubs, all that stuff. Um, this this montage, and uh, and the music starts to fade out once we get and, and we we have the credits go through this whole thing, right? And we see um, Neon City Nights um, pop up, and then it fades out, and the music starts to fade out as we uh, zoom in <laughs> on um, on this small, dinky little gas station in the middle of nowhere, um, in like a suburb of, of a convenience Miami. Store. A convenience store. A convenience store, yeah. Store. Uh, beside a gas station, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's in like the middle of this like backwater part of Miami. Um, and, you know, there's this one, like... Uh, sad little palm tree it's kind of like <laughs> growing up right next to the convenience store and uh what so i guess i mean i was just about to like totally gm gm this but <laughs> um i think because it's because i'm the spotlight character um we 
the car drives up. Um, our, uh, the car that, um, you and me, um, Raven usually, uh, drive. Cause we're, we're like, I think I'm assuming that we're kind of like partners in this like gang sort of thing. Um, cause we're both part of the gang. Um, we, we do like, we're the ones who like do drug deals together and stuff like that. And right. Like, uh, Tony Calvo is like our boss. Um, and so we see, it's just us two. Um, and we, we drive up in this, you know, beat down. 80s vehicle i don't know what vehicles are type what type of vehicle this would be in the 80s um but it's you know this civilian vehicle um and uh yeah we're supposed to meet um some we're, we're, we're supposed to meet a weapons dealer to buy some like weapons for for the mob um uh because there's there's this gang war going on and we need we need weapons to make sure that we're we have a fighting chance against this other gang that's kind of moving into our territory um and uh so we see we you know we, we obviously see um uh uh ignazio you know at the register at you know this is late at night right um and we, we see ignazio through the register and and i think like you and me um raven pull up i'm driving and um you just see me glance over in ignazio's direction and you can basically tell right away that like i'm in love with him like that's like the first like the first shot we get is just this like <laughs> I, like expression of like it's it's unrequited love you can see it in my face it's made rpg all over again <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and uh so uh, in this scene uh, everybody's playing their characters except for jordan i'm i'm casting you as the um the weapons dealer um so you're gonna be the guy we're gonna meet um so again every we're all collaboratively doing the scene now so anyone can, can say what we're doing but but i i turn to you um raven and then i and i say Oh man, I'm really nervous about this. We've done this so many times. It's going to be the same as all the rest of them. They're going to come. They're going to try and rough us up a little. We're going to make sure the deal goes down and it's going to be fine. And I like step out of the car <clears throat> and walk in to say hi to Ignazio and um, give him a nice kiss in front of you. <laughs> wow. So we just we both walk in. And, uh, yeah, I, I look at, um, look at Ignacio and, um, I kind of just, like, wave, like, half-heartedly <laughs> while, like, while you guys are, like, <laughs> mid-kiss. Because <laughs> I, I started to wave and then you kissed him. So I, I pipe up, ladies, ladies, good to see you. The, um, the clients, uh, the, what's it, what would I want to call them? The, uh, what's the, what's a what's the term, what, oh, has anyone seen, um, uh, what do you? What was it? Um, John Wick Two? No. Yes. What did they call the guns in it? I forget what they called the guns. Because you have to have you have to have some cool some cool like street name for what you're calling your guns instead of Pop the uh, instead of poppers. Huh? Poppers. No, no, no. Like like a code name that's not actually guns, but like. No, I know. Poppers. Uh. He's got some poppers. Oh, fi actually, no. Uh, the fireworks dealers are um, in the back. Sounds good. Come on. Let's go, Angel. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so I guess we walk to the back room. Yeah, so you just walk to the back room, and I, I glance over my shoulder at Ignazio, and you're probably just ignoring me. <laughs> you just work it at the register. Um, so I I, uh, I go up to the, to the, the back door. And like grab the grab the door handle and like prop it open just a little bit and like take out take out my gun from like my 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 belt and kind of like lean in, just like checking to see if anyone's there. Very super paranoid about it. No one's there. Door door goes open. I step out. Are you there, Jordan? <laughs> I I. I'm hiding like behind uh, a couple boxes, like there's a couple crates, and I'm just kind of um, like standing in the, in the shadows off a little bit, and I, I'm holding a briefcase, and I step into the light a little bit, and I walk forward and just put the single with actually with two briefcases. Mm -hmm. um, one one has a lock on it, um, and there's a uh, I have a necklace with a key. 
around my neck. Of course, yeah. I, walk in the <clears throat> I hear you're here for the fire show, fireworks show. Oh, uh. Fi fireworks? No, no, we were gonna. Oh, fireworks! Ah, I, I see what you said. Uh, right. Um, and I like looking around nervously. I'm like chewing some bright pink bubble gum, and I'm just like casually blowing large bubbles. Mm -hmm. Um, right. So <clears throat> everything's there. All the stuff that we're supposed to get, right? Like, the... Angel, Angel, what? we need to see the product. I, Ask him to show I, us. I know, that's what I, I was getting okay. to that, Raven. Okay. <laughs> oh, open up the briefcases, we need to see the product. I put the briefcase, I put the briefcase without the lock down on the ground. Um, and I spin around, and I kick it, like, I kind of slide it open. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um, and I tried to do, like, the cool, like, stop it with my foot thing, but I miss and, like, almost trip. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, uh, uh, and then just lean me down, grab the, the briefcase, open it up. Is everything there? Uh, inside is two shotguns, no shells. And I'm assuming this is not what we paid for. No, it is. This is this is part of part of it. Okay. Um. So I look at you. and I'm like, um, ammo. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, walnuts? <laughs> wink, <laughs> wink. You know how this works. Show me the money. Raven, uh, show her the, the money, I guess. So I open the briefcase that I've been carrying, and it's full of stacks of money, and I take one of the stacks and throw it at him. I catch it, and I... I'd like peel them back and just kind of examine them in the light. I take yeah. one out, give it a little sniff, give, give, it a, give it a bit of a shrug, put it in my back pocket, um, and I drop the other briefcase on the ground. And um, <clears throat> I take the necklace of the key off. Um, The usual, and I s start to walk toward them. Uh, I, I take a couple steps forward and say, "Now you set yours." Hmm. So now, so um, get the key when you put yours down. I'll, right, right. I'll, so, I'll, yeah. but I, I'm gonna be like, no, Angel, we see what's in the briefcase first um i mean we already saw what was in the first briefcase isn't that fine no we gotta see what's in both we don't just take a briefcase oh okay i mean uh yeah, open up the second briefcase i mean we we, we don't have to we'll, we won't grab it just show us what's inside I'm gonna say I'm watching all this from a closed course, from a yeah. security camera yeah. off on the side. So I'm just like sitting there rolling my eyes. <laughs> I look I look at the camera because I know he's watching and I'm just like <sighs> Yeah, and I look up nervously at the camera because you notice it too. Um and then I just wave again. <laughs> Um, Angel, by the way, has like bright blonde hair. Um, it's back in like a ponytail. Yeah, don't say. Yeah. <laughs> I clearly wow, have. Wow, good thing Alyssa's not hair. here. <laughs> oh no, she's only gonna watch this later. Yeah. <laughs> I clearly have jet black long hair that with bright red lipstick and like black clothing on. Right. So I, you guys are exactly how I pictured you. Uh huh. Yeah. I just wanted to cement that. <laughs> nope. Yep. Okay. I also have long sleeves and like full on pants on in the Miami heat. <laughs> and I am very pale and I am not sweating at all. Yeah, and I have I have jean shorts and uh um uh a leather jacket on over like a tank top. Shorts and a jacket. <laughs> I, my, my, I've got my character's got a tight fitting white shirt on, um jeans and then like slicked back greased back 
hair, long yeah, yeah. hair. <clears throat> Pinstripe fedora. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be the odd one out. Uh, yeah, so so I look at you and I'm like, uh, open up the briefcase. Uh, we won't grab it. Just show us what's inside. He goes, come on. I don't have time for this. Open it. I bend down and I pick it up and I unlock it with the key. And then I um, kind of like just let the, uh, the front part just flop open mm -hmm. and... Um, you can kind of see, um, you can see like uh, what looks like rows of shells. Mm -hmm. um, you don't get a very good look, and he closes it pretty quick. And it's kind of, it's kind of masked in the, it's kind of masked in the, um, in the light or in the dark. Mm -hmm. And then he locks it again, drops the briefcase. Look, I've got other business today. You know what's I, funny I, is like in, when you. When you said that, like, you snapped it really close, I, I immediately was going to ask for if I could make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a history check? Do I know if this guy is, like... On the like, up and up? Yeah. Um, no, but I... So I get really nervous, and I, I, I turn to you, Raven, and I'm like... I just kind of, like... I don't know what to do, and, like, I'm kind of, like, handing over the control of the situation to you. Look, man... You saw the money. Let us throw me a box of shells. Let me look at him. <laughs> I, I really want to pull like a box of seashells out of my back pocket. And just I mean, do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. This, I, I pull. I pull a box of. I, I pull out a. Uh, what looks like a cartridge of um, shotgun shells, and it's. Mm. You know, it's got that clatter in it, um, and it's somewhat heavy, and I toss it over. You toss it to me? I toss it, um, <clears throat> I, I kind of toss it in between you two. Yeah, I, I scoop down to grab it, um, and I kind of just shake it. I'm like, it sounds like shotgun shells to me. Open it up. <sighs> and I kind of, like, turn to you, uh, Jordan, and I'm, I just kind of, like, mouth, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... And I, I just roll my eyes and look off. Yeah, I slide it open, and it's sea seashells? You, you have seashells. So I look up, and I'm like, was this a a joke? I what do you think? Show it to you, uh, Raven. Do you think we're joking with you? And I pull out a gun and point it at you, yeah, and I, have it cocked and ready to go. Uh -huh. I hesitate, like, just for just an instant, and then, like, drop the shells, and then, like, grab my gun, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, do you think the, we're, what she said? Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna, uh, you'll hear over a loudspeaker, like, may I remind all customers <laughs> that firework displays are not allowed to be had on the premises. <laughs> I just, I just kind of like turn back and roll my eyes again. All right, if you don't want them, um, and then I pick up the other briefcase. Oh no, you, you, the briefcase is already. We already gone. have the guns. Yeah. yeah, you have the guns. I say, all right, you can find the shell somewhere else. Fireworks, get your fireworks. Um, yeah. And I, turn, I like. I turn to you, Raven. Like, what are we gonna do? Well, we don't let him leave, and then uh, I try and like kind of run up and punch him in the face. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I, I wanna, I wanna add... Or, or no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pistol whip him. I'm not gonna punch yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Is there a back door? There is a back door. Okay, I'm gonna start walking towards that. With my briefcase. Actually, it's a, is this a convenience store, so it's kind of like the loading. Is there a loading area in convenience stores, actually? Not really. We can yeah, there's a back door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I start heading towards that. Um, yeah, so I guess Raven I, comes up and smacks you across the face with her pistol. I I kind of just take it and I wipe a little bit of blood off my lip. The, and I just look, I look Raven in the eyes and say, the first one's for free. <laughs> 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 and, 
and and so I, I I just like I'm really confused. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Well, if you were walking <laughs> away, I would have tried to get you in the back of the head, and while doing that, try and take the money out okay. of your back pocket that you kept going out on with that I threw to you. Since if okay. you're not gonna sell us the whole thing, okay. And it's totally up to so, you guys how this how this scene goes out. Um. Okay, so yeah, so you come and you hit me in the back of the head, and yeah. I just and take and, the money. And you take the money, so I just give a heavy sigh, and I just turn around. You know, the first one's for free. And I go, you know, I don't think Tony Calpo is going to be doing any more business with you. I like just nod. Yeah, you say that. Tony and I go back. How far back? <laughs> okay, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a legitimate response. Look, I'm just letting you know. My name is Angel Rodriguez. And okay, you... shut up, Angel. I'm just trying to threaten him real quick. I'm just going to let Tony know what went down here. And we're just gonna, uh, you know, let him deal with you how he wants us to deal with you or somebody else to deal with you. Just giving you a heads up. And I kind of start walking away. And I'm like, go ahead, Angel, if you really want to introduce yourself. I, I, before anyone says or does yeah. anything else, I say, wait, wait, wait. I don't have the show. But I can tell you where they is. And then I, 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 I'm still pointing the gun at you, and I'm like, we're listening. There's a freight coming in. A shipment. It's a military surplus. We got a big job coming up. Old Tony doesn't have to know a bit about it. You get your shells, Tony gets his Tony gets his shells, you get a couple treat <clears throat> yourself. I get my cut of the money. We all make out. <laughs> Look, I'm not interested in that. The making out part. What's <laughs> <laughs> the <some> money? <laughs> We're not going to make Whatever. out with your money? What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Angel. I'm glad we're on the same page with him. <laughs> I don't know what this man is trying to say to us, but I think we should just walk away. We got the guns at least and report uh, back to Tony. Yeah, no, you're sure. Yeah, you're right. Good, good plan. <clears throat> you haven't heard the last of us, Mr. Gun Dealer Man. What is his name? Fire work! <laughs> <sighs> and I moved to like drag you, Angel, back into the convenience store. Yeah, so I'm trying to like put right. my put my gun back in like you know my holster, and it's just not. I keep missing because you keep dragging me. And stop wearing shorts. It's hot out. It's Miami in the summer. What do you expect? You as I can, to, as I can. Fireworks with shorts. <laughs> As I as I see them coming out uh, from the back, I see Angel still putting trying to put away her her gun, and I just yeah. walk over and like I walk over and describe it like, "What if I told you guys I'm keeping the fireworks out in the middle of the store, I'm trying to run a sorry. business here?" I'm so sorry. I'm really really sorry. I Raven, let go of me. And then I, I like finally like put it in. I'm like, no, I, I've got, I've grabbed it and put it like away for here. Oh, really? Like I, I grabbed it like you cannot do this. Yeah, yeah. So I. This I, is a public area. You do your business in private, and you leave. Yeah, I shrug off. I shrug off Raven, and then look at you, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, can I have my can I have my gun back? I I need, kind of need that. Oh, I put it. I no, I like grabbed it and like. Or did you oh, like have a holster or something? Holster. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Okay, did, I just apologize, and I'm like, I, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really really sorry, not you. I, I, we're gonna leave now. Did you we're, did you did you do your business? Yeah, it's done. We're leaving now. Know. Where, where's the deal? Is he still? Did he, did he leave? He's out the back. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of the business there. Make sure everything went down fine. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ig, see you tonight. Mm -hmm. 
are we still oh, good for yeah. tonight or no? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. Really matter. Good. Tonight, okay. Assuming you didn't screw the pooch here. Yes. <laughs> no pooches were screwed. <laughs> That's not what it looked like on this teeth. That's not what it looked like back there. I don't care what it looked like. Nothing is so fine. I'm, I'm blushing furiously, um, and then I just like start walking out to the car. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're out to the car. Um, I think that was probably good for me. Like it wasn't bad. What do you guys think? You, it was, you guys uh, totally up to I'm you. not. Sh I'm not so sure. We just got the guns without pain. Yes, which is not necessarily... Okay, that's the thing, though. Yeah, it's uh, not necessarily, like, what my character wanted out of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would... I, I'm kind of on the iffy side, just because, like, you... It, it, it kind of went... Like, the entire Wait, situation... Are you the, are you the undercover cop or the informant? I'm the undercover cop. Okay. Oh, you're the undercover cop? Yep. Hmm. So, well, I mean... You're not doing... boss is the informant. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, no, no, that's what I was hoping for, actually, yeah. when I gave you that. <sighs> so, I mean, as an undercover cop, you found out about whatever this big deal is happening. It's true. That's yeah. it's true. So I, I guess that would be good for you, and you also looked like a bumbling idiot, which really helps your cover. <laughs> no, I don't know if that does help with the cover, though, because it makes you look incompetent. It's true, yeah. Right, but that makes me like... What, I mean, uh, certainly a cop wouldn't be that stupid, but I well, guess... Uh... Oh, that's the thing. I think like, usually it's like you're incompetent, you're taken care of. Because you know too much, okay, not you enough. Guys, you guys just vote on it, I guess, yeah. I'd say I, no. I say positive, so it's it's George enough to decide. I think because you heard about like this big this big shipment, this big deal that's going on. Mm -hmm. And um you know, now you know about uh at the very least, you know about this um this gun dealer. Um, so I think uh, if, I'm gonna go with positive on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna I get a positive. So I'm gonna give it to someone. Um, Emily, I'm gonna give you a positive. Oh, you give it to someone else. Yep. And Act One. Hey. That's what you do. Yep. Um, act two, you you keep whatever you're given. So okay, there you go. You have one. Okay, as we're still in this scene, I must ask this, Jordan. Who was your boss? Hmm. Who, as the gun dealer, who was your boss? Hmm. Let's see. They call him. They call him the Smokesman. The Smokesman. Oh, I liked it. Oh, dang it. I wish I would have called it Smoked Meat. <laughs> that would have been... Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that's what they do. They call them, like, they called it in, um, that they call, like, different cuts of meat. Mm. All right, Seth. It's all you. Do you okay. Want to, do you want to establish or resolve? E well, I think that scene's kind of... Well, okay. Um... I want to kind of establish a scene, but I want to say that what you what the scene that just got created was did not resolve well. So I, it didn't resolve correctly because I have an idea of where I want to go with this. It, uh, I don't do, know how to mean? describe. It. Since okay, so you want to add in a well, little bit of an addendum to the end of that scene well, to lead somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, well, not exactly. Not the end of that scene, but in a different scene, but in addition to what just happened. Okay. Because here's the thing: the way so pretty much what happens is. Ignacio, he comes back, he finds the deal did not go so well, just found out two of my girls took a case of fireworks and didn't pay. And he knows the spokesman's not going to be too happy about that. So that's kind of where I'm going. That's why I asked who your boss was, because okay. so, because I was, so I want to establish the scene, but mm -hmm. continuing, like, as, is that establishing, or is that finishing, concluding a scene? Uh, I don't know exactly. No, yeah, yeah, it would be establishing, because you're just setting up whatever the next thing is going to be. Okay, so I'm establishing a scene. Yep. It is on Tony Calvo's boat. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> um, just because that seems like a good place no, for it yeah, to be. Yeah, sure. Um, sorry, I'm trying to open up the window. And I will have 
Uh, Caleb, I will actually cast you as the Smokesman. Mm, okay, all right. No, no, actually, no, 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 no. Oh, you no, will be the on. character. I want to be the oh, sorry, no. Uh, no, he, yeah, here's what I say. Because he's going to be, I was actually not, not the Smokesman, but the guy that Jordan just was. Oh, okay. Because Jordan, you are Tony. Because Jordan's obviously, Tony yeah, he has to be Calvo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not and, then, else's, and, then, and then Emily is just um, uh, Raven since she was there when it went down. And you're this, you. Yeah, and I'm me. And the scene is that Tony is not happy. No, no. So, so is this a flashback or a flash forward? No, this is forward. Okay. So we've gotten word that the Smokesman is not happy the deal went down the way it did. Right. And Tony was the person who was like, supposed to be giving the... Um, the, the money to and yeah. spokesman was giving us the guns and so that's why you have to be that character because that's like you didn't have the sh you didn't have the shells but you didn't give the money so we didn't give the money i'm just gonna say right now um this guy's name this guy's like title um the 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 dealer his name is the smokesman spokesman <laughs> oh that's just <laughs> how about just the spokesman for sure <laughs> the spokesman and the smokesman oh my gosh <laughs> okay <laughs> So the scene enters. Um, we're on the boat. Mm -hmm. Tony, Jordan, Tony, you, you as Tony are not happy with how things went down. I am just the middleman, but because of that, I am the person who's kind of like in between everything and is coordinating sort the of stuff. The mediator. Mm -hmm. The mediator. And so yeah, we'll we'll start it off that Jordan. You can go ahead and start it, since you are Tony and you are obviously not happy. <laughs> what happened? Smokesman doesn't honor me once again. <laughs> yeah, from the sound of it, Smokesman's not too happy about us either. Well, after what went down the other night, I wouldn't think he would be. There was a problem. You guys screwed yeah, us there over. Was a... Yeah, there was a problem. What was with the seashells? Was that some sort of joke? Yeah, ha ha, funny. It was a joke. Get over it. Yeah, um, yeah, that get over it is what's causing this issue. Listen, you Folks can't just... Happy. Tony Calvo doesn't own nada. He doesn't own the streets. He doesn't own that convenience store. He doesn't own me. He doesn't own the, the smokesman either. Tony, well, smokes... can I please just shoot this idiot? <laughs> calm down. Yeah, calm Raven. yourself down, little birdie. Hey, you watch your mouth. I'm like, I'm like at the front of the boat, like just with my arms behind my back, and I'm not even looking at anyone. I'm just kind of like watching mm -hmm. the sea, and I just hold up. I just Tony just holds up one hand, and kind of looks off, looks towards like where his hand is up. Children, calm yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I think that we can come to peaceful resolutions. I'm sure that we can, Calvo. I'm sure that we can. And you're, you're a reasonable man. I trust you. Ah, but I don't have a reason to... After all... Don't they call you... Two-Face? <laughs> <laughs> well, some people do. But that that's not me. That's not my identity. I'm the spokesman spokesman. <clears throat> Not Two Face. Keep telling yourself that. Uh, that was from another <laughs> life. That was from another life, Calvo. You know that. Lives tend to follow you out here. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's a good line. <laughs> <laughs> out, out here on this boat, in in the bay. <laughs> um, I feel like we're in Brooklyn more than we're in Miami. <laughs> but whatever, it's fine. They like mob, it. They're mob bosses. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, Calvo on. just turns around and he, um, Calvo turns around and he just kind of doesn't even look at him. He just looks down at the bottom of the boat. My, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dang it. Um, my subordinates have told me about this, um, Perhaps we can come to some sort of consensus. 
And he takes a couple steps forward. I would love to hear your proposition, Calvo. Well, after something so insulting as to send a rat on my boat, who had already cheated me out of my guns and my shells. Maybe you can make up for it yourself. I send. And you go in with them, and you take that boat, and I want every single morsel from that ship <laughs> I had to stop that thought. It was weird for a second. <laughs> I want every every single morsel of gunpowder from that ship. <clears throat> you get the cash, I get the guns. Fireworks. Tony, fireworks. Let's keep it professional here. <clears throat> School you and your fireworks. We're not at your shop right now. We can talk like adults. Yeah. Yeah. But when you do that, you get lazy. When you get lazy, you create a ruckus and almost cause a shootout in my store. We lose that. We lose business. Okay. My mom. Not always. only my, not only my customers, but you as well. Because you do me wrong. You're not working in my business anymore. Ignacio, have you forgotten who owns your business? No, Tony, I've not forgotten. He's got you there. But if I can't, if if the five O comes to my business and takes it down, we don't have anything to own anymore, okay? You would let me worry about that. Okay. You make a good point. Let's not stay, let's not get sloppy in our business. So, I'm thinking a fireworks show. And then he pulls out like actual fireworks, like, <laughs> well, like things that you'd expect to cause a big bang and distraction. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking right above that boat might be the perfect place for uh, a couple veterans to lose their cool, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, you're cruel, Calvo. You are cruel. It gets the job done. You gotta be in this business, kid. He walks over and kind of just shoves them into um, the spokesman's chest. And then he looks over at Raven. Take that recruit. Teach her. Show her. Make her proper. She's going on this, this one with you. Can I really not take anyone else? Literally. She, she's really sloppy, Tony. Literally anyone. Yeah. Who the frick was that girl anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with the short shorts? <laughs> I... <laughs> it's funny that you visit yourself like that kid. That's great. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, how, how, how'd you find such a sloppy, sloppy girl anyway? Um. He, he holds up his hand again, kind of like before. There's something in this one. The best, the best mobsters are the ones who start so weak, so fragile. Um, he kind of, he turns back around and he walks to, like, again towards like the little command console and there's, uh, there's like a glass there and he picks it up um it's got some whiskey in it and he just downs it and he just kind of stares at the he lifts the glass up and stares at it the sun's kind of reflecting on it they start full full of hopes and dreams full of full of so i'm just looking at you two like 
so impressionable. <laughs> but once they break, he throws it on the ground. Whoop! And after he throws it on the ground, I start mouthing every word that he's saying. Like mm-hmm. this is a spiel he's done seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. That that me oh. and Ignacio are both familiar with, but but the spokesman is not. And I, I see. I look over. I see you doing. I kind of just jab you in the <laughs> side a little bit. Come on, <laughs> Spony. Um, he throws the glass on the ground. And he picks it up. He picks up a really sharp shard. Um, that's when they're lethal. And he turns around and kind of throws it towards the spokesman, and it like goes right past his cheek and just cuts his cheek. Holy smokes! Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Just throw shards of sharp glass at me. That's okay. So, spokesman. Yeah, what is it, Calvo? What is your take? Do you agree to my terms? You, five of my men, you take the guns we have, we raid it, you get the money, we get the guns. Just kind of, we get the money, you get the guns. Fireworks. I'm just like, I'm just like, this point is like, I was just like, fireworks. Screw you and your fireworks! No, I'm, I'm saying it under Ignacio. my breath. I'm saying, no, he, I'm I saying it under my breath. Right, I think he hears you. <laughs> is, that, is that the deal, Calvo? You promise you're not going to screw us over on this one? The only reason I pulled the seashells incident is because I wanted to teach you all a little lesson about trust. When you don't got it, you don't got it. Um, Calvo just looks down at the ground and gives it, he like starts out with a little chuckle and he like starts to like, it turns into this bellowing laugh Mm -hmm. and he just, um, gives a heavy sigh and just, <sighs> Tell me, that shot I threw at you, it went in the water. How hard do you think it would be to find it? I am not diving in the, I'm not diving in the water, Calvo. I'm not going to scoop a dive for your stupid shot of glass. Ah, and they probably wouldn't scoop a dive for you either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> Don't forget whose boat you're on, small fry. I just I just sh- I just shake my head and I'm just like, the law bless the USA. <laughs> so what are you telling me? Is we're gonna go scare a couple of veterans, give them wake awaken their PTSD, so we have an opening, get on this military ship, and then we're gonna get the money, and y'all gonna get the guns, the fireworks, whatever, <laughs> and then we're gonna split, and there won't be no backstabbing of anyone, no scuba diving neither. That's the plan I can get on board with. You showed your true colors once again, Calvo. True colors. Be careful. Because the only color out here is red. And he turns back around and just walks towards the... On the froze. Street. You froze for a second, Jordan. Oh. Um, what, what part did you... He you walked said towards... You... Oh, I walked... Um, he walk, I walk towards the, um, like the captain's chair, and I just like sit down. And I prop my feet up on the, uh, on the captain's wheel. Yeah, and I look to you too, and I'm like, well, he's a cup of sunshine. <laughs> Tony Calvo for you. I love you how totally... we all, we're all just like doing the Italian accent, like full blown. I don't know how to do. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah. It works. Totally yeah. 
<laughs> it's awesome. You tell the spokesman to be ready. <clears throat> well, the spokesman will tell the spokesman to be ready. And then okay. uh, I, I I glance at you, Raven, and I'm like, Hey, hey, you, goth chick. <laughs> I was like looking goth. away, and I turn towards him and flick him off at the same time, and I go, What? <laughs> what you doing tonight? Uh, I step in like, <gasps> Not you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, I think that's the end of the scene right there. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. That is a positive scene for Gazio for that line. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry to bring it in that direction, but it's the only thing I could think of. That fine. was great. That was uh, yeah, I think it was positive for, for, Kalo, or for uh, Ignacio. Oh, yeah. Um, so who are you going to give that die to, then? I think I'm going to give it to Jordan for the great performance he just gave us. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, seriously, man. Calvo, I wouldn't want to mess with Calvo. He's a warrior no and a poet. No one messes with Calvo. All right. Emily, it's all you. Well, I thought it was... Is it, oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that's right. It's mm. different from the thing. Um, also, Actually, the person in chat uh, wrote a little while ago, Emily, I forgot to tell you. Um, I think Emily is a little too comfortable being a gangster. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm the furthest thing from a gangster. <laughs> exactly, but, right? Yeah, you know. That's what's funny. Could, could we take another quick break? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're at, the, we're at the hour. So let's... Uh, you think about the scene, Emily, and we will uh, take a break and be right back. Um, more fiasco right after this. <laughs> 